Now these geopics from Est Wing are nearly indestructible, but they do wear as you use them in the field, and as that head gets progressively more rounded, it gets more and more difficult to break a clean face off a piece of rock. If you want to know how to restore yours to as new condition, and a little trick that'll help you get it maybe a bit better than that, then this is the video for you. I'm Nick Tate, and this is another video in the series of Fieldcraft for Geologists. This is the headline version for YouTube. If you want the full video, go to the link in the description below, and for the cost of less than a decent textbook, you'll get the full version of this video, all the others that are already there, and anything interesting new that I shoot while I'm in the field. The best way to break rocks is to hold the hammer slightly off the vertical angle so that when it hits the rock it's the edge of the hammer face that makes contact and it makes a linear fracture that'll break away a nice clean big piece for you. But when you've been using them for a while that head gets progressively more rounded and it gets more and more difficult to break a clean face off a piece of rock. In this video I'll show you how to restore that face to a nice square shape and maybe a little bit of an improvement that'll help you to break rocks a little bit more effectively. I'm right handed and I tend to tilt the hammer over to that side so the right hand edge of the hammer face gets worn more than the left hand edge and after a long time it'll even get a bit burred over. I'm going to use this four and a half inch battery powered angle grinder for the job. The first step is to flatten off the sides of the hammer if they're burnt over. Next we need to square off the face. That's going to take quite some time, particularly if the hammer's really rounded like this one. It's really important to go gently. If you push too hard, the steel will get too hot and destroy the temper. If you start to see blue or brown colours on the face you're grinding, then you're pushing too hard. Be patient. It's a slow process, particularly if you've left it as long as I have on this hammer. If you hold the grinding wheel edge on to the hammer face, it'll produce a slightly concave face. This is actually an advantage because it mimics the shape of a stonemason's trimming hammer. Those hammers are designed to trim pieces off the edge of large stone blocks. And since that's exactly what we're trying to do most of the time, the concave shape is good. The curvature makes a slightly acute edge along the side of the hammer face and that's just ideal for generating fractures in a rock when you hit it. When you've got the shape of the face right, round off the corners along the edges a little. If you leave the edges perfectly square, the corners will chip off and end up in your leg or maybe your fingers. Finally, we need to sharpen that point at the back of the hammer. It's important to be extra gentle here because that thin point can overheat really quickly if you push too hard. I like to make a slightly less pointy angle than the original shape. It still gets the job done and it'll wear a little bit more slowly. Likewise, I like to leave the point slightly rounded, maybe about two millimetres wide at the tip. It'll still get into fractures, but it's much less likely to jab you in the thigh when you're not looking. So there you have it. If you want your Geopic to give you that as new performance and maybe even a little bit better, then it's time to break out the grinder.